Hello everybody, this is Diane. I'm here just to show you a small um, thrift and vintage haul. I have two different sources here. Um, one was from my friend's antique selection in her coffee shop and the other is from my local thrift store. So let's start with the antique store. Now these are, I don't think are really antiques, but they are definitely vintage. I believe they are from the 30s and it was a whole bag stuffed full, a whole baggie stuffed full of old matchbook covers. And I think they're from, did I say, I think they're from the 30s. There's no date on them, but that's what they look like. The images look like they're from the 30s. So I selected some that I would keep with some just the colors and graphics that I like and some with pictures that I like. I don't know how many I kept for myself. Probably pretty close to what I put in the bags because I took my stuffed full baggie and separated it and um, I have some bags to go in my shop and I think there's 20. I'll count them to be sure before I list them but I don't know maybe it's not 20 maybe it's only 10 but I will count them. They're not going in the shop yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till after Christmas but I will have quite a few bags of these 1930s matchbook covers in my shop. And then I got, I went to the Salvation Army today to drop some things off and I went inside and looks to me like um, people are cleaning out their homes because where the books and paper items are, it was really stuffed and hard to shop and it was a mess because people had been shopping and just making it a mess. So it took me longer to look there than I thought it would because there was more to look at and it was harder to look at it because it was all jumbled up. But I, I actually found more than I normally do there. This is something that's pretty new. It's 1994 and it's the Garland of Flowers photograph album. Um, and I like it because I've seen these in other people's hauls and they're bigger. But I like this one because it's a nice small size. I think I should be able to use that. I'd have to cut it narrower. And hopefully I can take it apart like where you put the photo in. I'm hoping I will be able to... Oh yeah, that should come apart very nicely. And then I can use that side and that side and have a lot of frames. So there's um, puppies with a B. There's this one with pansies and daylilies and butterflies. Some irises and violets. And then this summer flowers with butterflies and then it, and it repeats. So there's quite a few frames in there I can use. And I got another album. This is a um, Hallmark Stories photo album. I don't think there's a date in this one at all. Let me see. Mm, nope, I don't see a date. So I don't think it's very old. But I like this one because it has a page, of a lined page. It's lined on both sides and it has a quote about memories. And I don't know if every page is different, but the ones that I looked at had different ones. So that's nice that they're different. And then the, uh, the back side doesn't have a quote, but it's got the lines. And then we have two pages of the photo sleeve with more journaling lines. So I can just glue this to a page or tuck it into a pocket with journaling cards inside there. So there's quite a few pages there too. I thought this was a fun find. I'll have to put it away for next Christmas, so I'm not going to take the plastic off it try to prevent glare, but I have two pads. It's American Greetings, 20 sheets, and uh, no date. They started out at $2.95 originally, but I like the poinsettia at the bottom, of course, so these will go in with my Christmas supplies for next year. Um, I got more albums. These are not photo albums. These are CD sleeves, and I got them because each one is a different color and I thought that would be really fun to include in a journal. So this one has yellow 
That one's really pale. This one shows up better. It has the yellow sleeve. And I don't know how many are in there. I'm not really sure, sure why it has military picture there. Covers that up. But there's blue. And I'm just going to take these out and probably not keep the binders. And there's green. So I thought that was fun. I was going to grab one. Uh, I think the first one I saw was yellow. And then I noticed that they each had a different color sleeve inside. So I'm going to use those in some journals. This was the first thing I picked up there. Very unusual. Nursery rhyme quiz. Write nursery rhyme title on the line provided. So... For instance, can you see the symbols there? London Bridge falling down. Cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> I skipped this one because I, I didn't figure that one out yet. Looks like recycling, but I don't think recycling is part of a nursery rhyme. And there's an egg, I think that's an egg, and a shopping cart. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Black sheep, three bags full. Yeah, so I thought it was fun. I'll include that in journals. Um, I got this book with a beautiful picture on the front. It's scuffed up a bit. But this is the Bookshelf for Boys and Girls, Americana Edition. The white tag was half off. It's from 1950-something. I don't think that these are the same as the My Bookshelf books. But this is so Stories and Songs from Many Lands. And it's 1958. The pictures aren't as beautiful as the My Bookshelf pictures. They're pretty... Um, monochromatic but I loved the cover and the last thing I got was this sheet I loved the color and I loved the flowers and it's pretty clean but I'm gonna wash it of course before I cut it up and do anything with it but I liked this so I picked it up so that's what I have for you today and I'm going to do some more work today, I think, um, doing some cleaning out, organizing, de-stashing a little bit. So I've already pulled some things. I've got book pages, children's book pages, and some botanical book pages, and I have some eyelet lace and those matchbooks. So I'm, I'm accumulating some things that I'm going to put in my shop after Christmas. So I'll be back. I'm sure I'll be back before Christmas to speak to you again, but... Just in case you don't watch it, I'm going to tell you right now, Merry Christmas, and I will see you soon. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.